Welcome back, everyone. Uh, so, uh, I forgot to say this in the last video, but if you do enjoy the channel and you want this channel to grow, uh, share it to other people, you know? Just, like, tell them, hey, there's this Tuna Boy guy, and I really like him. Like, I, like you really like this channel. But, uh, with that out of the way, uh, with, uh, let's hop straight into casual. So, Today, I'm going to teach y'all on how, like, all the classes work, but a lot of y'all might know how the classes work a lot, but, um, I'm still going to teach y'all, because if you're new and you don't know what Team Fortress 2 is, then this is a, this is a channel that you might like. Alright, so first we'll start with Capture the Flag 2 for Now, if you play Capture the Flag... My general favorite is 2-4 because of the multiple entrances, the multiple, uh, the sewers. They make for great sentry nests. So, as you can see, Scout is my most played and my least played is Medic because, um, because Medic... You, you, like, the only way you can survive is by just being a battle mech and a healer, which is, really sucks. Alright. Head, most headshots of sniper. Now, first we'll start off with scout. Now, um, the Lotto I'm using... For scout is the regular shotgun. This little uh, machete. Come on. Now, my little is the scatter gun, the flying guillotine, and the atomizer. So. Mommy had okay. So, uh, the, fire, the scatter fire, gun, fire. it's like really, even though it's the original, I, personally, I think it's really good, but there is the scatter back. Now, let me just check what the scatter back does. I know how the back scatter. Many crits targets when fired at their back from close range. So, no random crit, critical hits. A uh, soda popper. You know, I'll use the soda popper. So, soda popper. Uh, you. Uh, the more, the more kills you get, the more damage, the more hype you'll get. I got headshot by a spy with the ambassador because the ambassador is loud uh, if you headshot it will do a crit on them seems that there was a spy at our base but that's okay so so the scatter gun is just really good now the flying guillotine you need to get used to how you use it because the more you do that, the more efficient you can throw it at people and damage them. Um, so the atomizer. So the atomizer, it's not, it's a bat that allows me to jump three, three times. Now I'm gonna have to get this one. And I'm gonna have to run because even though Scout is really fast and uh, his shotgun, his cleaver, and his and his bat is overpowered, he has very low health, which uh, which one class can outsmart, which one class can counter that. Because even though the Scout is fast and, and annoying, uh, one class can uh, can kill uh, the Scout. And, but that's after this class, the soldier. So, let me equip my... So, this is the soldier loadout. 
The rocket jumper deals no damage and it'll launch you if you do it correctly. The man treads, seven, uh, negative 75 reduction and push force taken I'm from still in eight damage. Level. And then it, uh, the market gardener deals crits while wheel, while the wielder is ro uh, rocket jumping. Now I'll use the direct hit because the direct hit, people say that all the rocket launchers um, kill sentries, but I feel like the the direct hit uh, destroys it most. And I was killed by freedom. The black box on hit gain up to 20 plus health on each hit. Uh, that's a really good weapon, and I'm gonna try and get it, but. As the soldier, you're the rocket jump, which you'll take damage, but if you use the rocket jump, you won't take any damage, but none of the enemies will take damage, so it's kind of like a balanced out thing. So you don't take damage, and the enemy doesn't take damage. Alright, just gotta distract them with rockets. And I was headshot, so... Even though Soldier has a rocket launcher, he has a, a, other weapons. Some some soldiers will forget that the shotgun is even there, and some will just even use it, but they'll use it at the wrong timing. Because even though he has a rocket launcher, he's very slow. So I'll get on to the next class, class which is Pyro. So this is the flog. Build, uh, build the taunt by dealing damage. Alt fire um, on full taunt to gain crit for several seconds. Now, here's the downside. It has no air blast, which means that you can't air blast any of the rockets away from you. So say like a soldier is shooting you with rockets, you can't air blast them. As you can see there, I killed a heavy, which Heavy is the hardest class to kill since he has 300 health. Now, if you partner that with the Sandwich, and you run away for just a little bit of time that the class can't get you, um, you, you'll basically be almost unstoppable if you use the class correctly. Now, that is a Demo Knight. I just can yeah. take a mountain. I think there's some toxic in this, so I'll just go to my settings and I'll disable both of these. So now you can see I can't use it. Now I don't think I can't hear them anymore. So that's like really good because you can just like not hear the toxic clears. But if you want to use your mic and hear other people, you can mute people with this down here. No, there are contracts for Pyro that uh, that allow you to get other weapons. If you press F2, you'll you'll be bringing to the contractor, and then go to Pyro Land. That will allow you to do contracts and get other weapons like the Dragon Fury and uh, the the Hot Hand and the Second Banana for Heavy. As we can see, this is a Hoovy. Which is just a heavy, but with a shotgun. As you can see there, that is a scout. Hmm. I got backstabbed. Uh, that was a trick stab. Now, a lot of people, a lot of toxic people, uh, you would want to avoid, you know. Even though this is a fighting game, some, uh, there can be friendly servers. So if you run into a friendly server and you want to relax, just don't kill and just dampen them. But if someone does start fighting you, you you're automatically allowed to kill. Now, as you can see, I can't air blast. So I'm gonna change to a different flamethrower. Uh, that has air blast. So with the air blast, you have to have perfect precision, or else you'll just get hit. So, hold on. I guess the 
Oh no, I already had the degrees here. On here, so I'll just use the Dragon Fury on this one. Now let me use the degreaser, the Scorch Shot, and I will use the Ang Extinguisher, and I'll change this to the back burner. I'll, I'll sort them later, like after the video. But um, this, on. Okay, let me get onto the degreaser. So, the degreaser, if you, um, if you air blast your teammates that are on fire, and, um, oh no, I just picked up a spy. Now, that is a spy. Now I think that is a spy. No, not the not the medic. But there's here's the spy. Now you'll always want a medic by your by your side. There we go. All right, there's my medic. Medics are like really good. Now, uh, this this axe lets you uh damage your t uh that lets you damage your enemies that are on fire and extinguish them then you can burn them again and keep on doing it over and over so uh the the scorch shot uh it's like really good for long long range because the d pyro re relies on having to hit people that are up close Now, I don't know if the scout is going to die. Nope. But they did set up a sentry nest inside the sewer. So, I will just go Demo Knight. So, if you want Demo Knight, you'll have to really give into, like, the sword, you know? You'll have to practice. You'll have to practice on the swing. And now, now, this, the sword, it has longer range, which... Which means that you'll be able to hit your teammates even there even if they're a few mirrors away from you. Now heavy is really hard to kill. It'll take you like four to five uh, swings to kill a heavy. Did they come and look out? As you can see, the numbers. No, he wasn't trying to uh, do a friendly server. He was taunting on his enemy that he killed. Unless he wanted to do his friendly server. But then, he was just like, you know what, might as well kill. So, Demo Knight, you really have to give in. You really need to learn how to fully Demo Knight. You have to, like, you have to, I don't know. But you have to know how to Demo Knight. As you can see, I am dying, and I was killed, so you really have to practice with Demo Knight. Now, Heavy, the loadout I was using was the Hulong Heater. So, uh, another thing is the sandwich and the... Now, I was using the Holiday Punch, but if you want longer range, I suggest the Con... The country is objector. Now, this, uh, you're able to put a decal, like your own custom image on this. So, uh, if you want to get longer range, you can just kill them. Now, as you can see, I took damage, but with the side of it, I can just go to the sentry nest and I can just heal. Now you can see that the sentry nest is gone. Now the devil man he has only um explosives and a uh, throwable explosives, which means that he they can only travel far enough. Like they can't be like soldiers' weapons. Now 
uh, I see that this scout's trying to do us a friendly server. But for but you have to like really be good with heavy. Now on to the engineer. Oh, I saw the now engineer isn't much of a fighter. You know, he he only has 125 health like the scout. He doesn't have the speed. And um but there's another blue engineer here. But engineer is really good for like building stuff. You have the the sentry gun, which costs 130 metal, and then the dispenser, which has a which uh, heals your teammates and gives them ammo. So I'll make it look like I'm just building, but actually I'm just showing y'all how to how to play engineer. Now you really have to. You really have to know the the downtime engineer. Like his shotgun, this shotgun, the Frontier Justice. I suggest it because if your sentry gets destroyed and it has a bunch of kills, it, all of those kills will transfer to the Frontier Justice, and it will give you crits. And it doesn't have a timer. It um it actually once you do run out of the crits. As you can see, the revenge. Uh, you'll run out of crits. Bruh. Now the sentry. There are two Build types of sentry. sentry: mini sentry and normal sentry. As you can see, this pyro is helping me, being a, a nice, a nice person. Oh, oh. On, get. And that devil man was killed because even though uh, your throwables are able to harm people they'll be uh they'll harm yourself if you get too close now if you do so you can take manual control over your sentry uh, and i think it gives you more ammo more damage per second so if you have the wrangler uh, you take manual control of a sentry gun. Wrangled sentries gain a shield that reduces damage and repairs by 66%. Sentries are disabled for 3 seconds after becoming unwrangled. So that's kind of a balanced way. Now the teleporter is right here. If you just stand on top of the entrance, you'll teleport to the exit. Now let's move on to the medic. One YouTuber, um, the, they... They made videos on how to play all the classes, but not for medic. So what you need to do is just all all you do is just heal people. So you have Uber and Uber Charge, which whatever. Whenever partnered with a either a soldier or a heavy or demo man, it will it allows you to be able to go over shield and be able to kill a bunch of people. As you can see, my uber charges have one hundred percent. So you you have to use uber charge at the most perfect moment. You have to make sure you like. You use it correctly. You have to make sure that every, any time there are a bunch of people, any time there there's a bunch of people that your teammate sees and can't handle them, you can overcharge, have a shield around you, um, and you can just go ballistic on them. Soldier, devil, scout, come here. All right. So as you can see, it heals your teammates. If you already knew that, since he's the medic. Now, come here, soldier. Now, a heavy is really good because uh, he's able to fire multiple bullets. Now. Yes, yeah, so he was able to kill he was able to kill three people.
Now, so, as a medic, you can't really protect yourself. You know, you have to use either a saw or the, say, his crossbow or the, or the sentry gun. Now, let me just heal up this demo, man. And then, where is the demo? The demo knight. Now, uh, there are different classes you're able, like for Scout, for Scout, you're able to move as fast as him because of the update. You're able to move as fast as him. Because of that, you'll be able to follow him and keep up with him. So I'm going to stay on this Scout for now until I find another Heavy, which once once I come here, demo. I'll help you. Yeah, so demo knight is really good whenever he's whenever he's partnered with a medic. So is soldier and um and uh, heavy. Now the way you can tell a sentry is being built is either the beeps or you can hear like all the whirring and clinking. All right, so that devil knight was very weird. Now, as you can see, I died, so why don't we move on to sniper? Now, sniper is good for long range, but not really good for close range, because uh, you you have your you have your sniper, you know, to scope people, you know, if you're really good. Um, now, if you have the razor back, because you always have to be aware of enemies of enemy spies now uh, they'll never expect uh, multiple snipers like how this engineer put how the engineer oh it's a friendly hoogie As you can see, that's a scout. So, you... Now, players like that... So, as you can see, you can destroy these sticky bombs. Come on, engineer. Yeah, so that engineer is, like, really annoying. So... Why don't we get on to the spy? Now, the spy, you really have to be, like, really good. Because his weaknesses are, like, any class, especially Pyro. So, if you're disguised as Scout, just know that you're, that the enemy team will tell if you're a spy because of the speed. So, there's a pyro right there, I'll just hide in the water. I'll go in the water and I'll make sure that nobody sees me. Ooh. Yeah, so that's how you... Now, you have to be not afraid, because if you're afraid, then they'll be able to tell if you're a spy. Now... Now, you, if you're a spy, you really have to be careful. Because you can't, it's not like, oh, I'll just be very sneaky and backstab people. So, let me change this guy. Right, so if you have the eternal reward, if you backstab someone, You'll be able to, you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able, alright, so I'm the heavy right now, now I, since I'm the heavy, no one will suspect it, I can just crouch, sit in a corner, and once they're, ooh, 
No, I'll just go up to the heavy and say, Heavy is spy. Heavy is spy. Heavy is spy. <laughs> friendly Hoovy. So, friendly heavy, you just have to be friendly to him. Because if you be friendly to him, he'll be friendly to you. Now, you really have to know how to be spy. Like, I suggest either playing as medic or as their own spy. So that way you can fool them. You can make them think, oh! I have to wait until all their backs are turned. Now, as you can see, that uh, heavy is being way too close. No, you have to be careful. Like, you genuinely have to. As you can see, me and this engineer are calling. Now, you can't go invisible while you're taunting. So now you can see we're starting a friendly server. But that soldier named Freedom uh, killed us. Now I'll try to backstab them so that way. No, I'll, I'll try to backstab that heavy. Because he killed me. You know what? No. If there's a friendly, you have to make sure that they're okay. You have to make sure that you don't harm them because. If they're a friendly, if they're just friendly, don't harm them. Friendly heavies are really nice. Alright, so you really have to watch your, your invis watch. Now, as you can see, I revealed my location because. Doctor! Medic! Medic! Doctor! Let's fly in on our side! Medic! Ah. Ah. Doctor! Oh. Thank you, Alright. As you can see, that is a that is our pyro. I forgot which team I was on. <laughs> Since I'm disguised as the blue spy, it gets really like confusing. Now the governor's kunai, you'll get the health that your enemies will. But I think that is a bot. So even though they updated to where there's basically no bots, they. Uh, there's still like a couple bots here and there, but you'll be able to kick them. Now, you really have to be wary about the bots. You can't like expect them. I'll disguise as a soldier. Spiker. Now I'm disguised as Freedom. Now he's at the top of their score. So yeah. If you're a spy, you have to really be careful. That devil man died. No, there isn't anything else much I have for spy. Just you have to be careful. You have to make sure you don't die. 
you have to make sure your enemies can't hear you. Now I'm disguised as the sniper. Now he was he was laughing at our sniper. So I'll disguise this the spy. And they heard me laughing. Now you have to successfully backstab them. You have to make sure that you're fully uncloaked. And you have to make sure that, uh, that you get behind them and backstab them. Because if you don't, you'll, they'll find out that you're a spy behind them and they'll kill you. Anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it off. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see y'all la later. Stay tuned in.